Hi students, in this video, I'll be covering on interaction of forces. We'll be going through three main concepts, namely, what is a force? What are the effects of a force? What are the different types of forces? Before proceeding to complete a small quiz. Have you ever wondered what a force is? The answer is simple. A force is a push or pull that one object exerts on another. When we apply a force towards our body, it is a pull. When we apply a force in a direction away from our body, it is a push. Can you identify what forces come into play in a game of tug of war? That's right, both players on each end are exerting a pulling force on the rope. Forces are important in our daily lives. They come into play when we are sweeping the floor and exercising. We may not be able to see forces in real life, but we can examine the effects of it. Forces can start or stop an object, change the shape or size of an object. It can also increase or decrease the speed of an object. Lastly, it can change the direction of motion of a moving object. When a larger force is applied, the distance moved is greater and the object likewise will move faster. Now, what are the different types of forces? Gravitational force refers to the force by Earth that pulls an object towards the center of the Earth. Weight is the amount of gravitational force acting on an object. It tells us how heavy the object is. You may wonder, what is the difference between weight and mass? Weight is the amount of gravitational force acting on an object, while mass is the amount of matter in an object. Weight is a force while mass is not a force. Weight of an object will be different on different planets, while mass remains the same. Magnetic force is the force exerted by magnets on magnetic materials. Magnetic materials include nickel, iron, cobalt, and steel. You can use the acronym NIX to memorize what the magnetic materials are. Note that C stands for cobalt and not copper, as copper is not a magnetic material. A light post of a magnet attract while light post of a magnet repel. It is also important to know that magnetic force is strongest at the poles. Frictional force is the force that opposes motion. It acts opposite to motion. When an object moves to the left, frictional force acts to the right. Frictional force only occurs when the object is moving. So, a stationary object which is not moving would not have any friction force acting on it. Frictional force exists between surfaces that are rubbing against each other. It produces heat as a result. For example, when we are cold, we run our hands together for warmth. Friction between our palms produces heat. Frictional force can cause moving objects to slow down or stop. This is because the force acts opposite to the motion. It is easier to slip on wet surfaces than dry surfaces. Why is this so? Friction between rougher surfaces is greater than friction between smoother surfaces. There are both uses and problems associated with friction. Uses include it reducing, slipping and sliding, and it producing heat. Problems include how it causes wear and tear, and how it makes things overheat and objects to move slowly. So, how can we reduce friction? We can use lubricants, like oil or grease, on moving parts of machines. We can also use rollers, ball bearings, and wheels which are often used in conveyor belts and furniture. Streamlined body shapes also help to reduce friction. They are often present in things that move in air and water, like birds and aeroplanes. 
Lastly, elastic spring force. It is the force exerted by a spring onto an object which is compressing or stretching it. Elastic objects change their shape when a force acts on them, but return to their original shape once the force is removed. Elastic spring force is often used in mattresses to keep them firm, and in clothes packs. It is also used in spring balances, which is often used to measure an object's weight. And with that, let's recap the four main forces. Gravitational force is the force that pulls an object towards the center of the Earth. Magnetic force is the force exerted by magnets on magnetic materials. Frictional force is the force that opposes motion. Elastic spring force is the force exerted onto an object that is compressing or stretching it. Let's try out the question before ending the lesson. Pause the video and answer the question before playing it to see the answer. I trust that you have attempted it, so now let's review the answer. Rough strips of material increases the friction between the surface of the elderly shoes and the stairs. You have to also relate it back to the context of the question. So you have to include the second sentence which, how, which is how this would prevent the elderly from slipping and falling easily when walking up or down the flight of stairs. Thank you for watching and this video was brought to you by Project Love of Learning. We would like to thank Gabriel Lee for making this video possible. Thank you and see you in our next video.